What's going on guys, it's Joe Farewell, and today we're gonna dive into a little bit of holster work, working from appendix and concealed. We're gonna talk about drawing with two hands, a couple of tips to make that a little bit more consistent and faster, and I'm gonna show you some points on working with a single hand if your left hand is shot, injured, or otherwise occupied. All right guys, so first of all, we're gonna dive into working with two hands, and what I wanna work here is both hands moving at once to achieve a good grip and a good presentation on the target. So the first thing I wanna do is get the shirt out of the way. And I'm working from appendix. I've got a uh, T-Rex arm sidecar holster here with my P365 XL pistol. First thing I need to do is get this shirt out of the way. So a lot of people will come in and just grab a big handful of the shirt, and that's great, but if I grab sideways like this, what's gonna happen is when I pull up, the gun's mostly uncovered. However, just a quick tip for you, if you go vertical with your hand and grab that shirt, already most of the gun is clear. So then I just have to pull it up a little bit higher, achieve a good grip on the pistol, and then come to a presentation. Now, when I get my grip on the pistol, one of the things I'm focusing on is keeping my strong thumb up. I don't wanna dive down behind the gun and build a grip. I wanna keep that thumb up almost on the back of the gun. Some people will index actually off the back of the pistol. I prefer to kind of start rolling over to one side. That way I can build my grip up effectively. One of the things I wanna make sure that I'm doing is getting a good palm contact with the side of my gun with my support hand and building a good firm grip to full presentation so that we can get good accurate shots on target repeatedly. Let's go ahead and run through a couple of drills with that good grip, good presentation good clearing of the garment, and good shots on target. Stand by. Let's do that again. Stand by. One more time. All right, so as you guys can see there, I'm getting that shirt cleared out of the way, getting a good grip on the pistol, full presentation, keeping my shoulders relaxed, all the other good fundamentals that we talk about, but we're focusing specifically on how we're drawing here, not on all those other fundamentals. Check out some of the other videos if you wanna dive into that side of things. Now, with this holster, it obviously allows me to carry an extra magazine in it, which I like, because more bullets is more better. That's my, my motto, if you will. So. Working a reload from concealment also presents the problem of getting that shirt out of the way after you've taken those shots. So we're gonna go ahead and work a two-handed reload, and what that looks like for me is once I get that gun up, I take those shots, I'm gonna keep bringing this gun back, drop the magazine, and I need to clear that shirt again, dive in, and I still wanna index the magazine just like I would off of my competition belt or my battle belt, whatever belt that you're running. We still wanna index the magazine properly. So let's go ahead and do a couple of shots with that. Get a reload in and see what that looks like from a two-handed approach. Stand by. Now, if we have something in our left hands, for instance, you're carrying groceries, you got your child, you've been injured in your left arm, you've got it in a cast, car accident, whatever the case may be, and we only have one hand to draw. One of the things that we can do to achieve a good grip and a good draw still is making sure that we're doing the same process, but getting that shirt out of the way with our strong hand. And the way that I do that is I get a good grip the same way I would with my support hand, full grip on the shirt, and I pin it against my side while digging down into my pistol. From here, I can come up and get a good presentation and good shots on target. So again, kind of in the slow motion here, our support hand is down. I come up, get a good grip on that shirt, and pull it up high, pin it against my side with my wrist, and I drive down into that gun. Now I can come up, build a good grip, and get good shots on target. Now we already talked about two-handed reloads, but since we've got no left arm or no support arm, how do we work a one-handed reload? This is a little bit complex. I want you guys to be very careful when you're practicing this. Be sure to do it dry before you even try to do it live, but here's the process that I'm gonna use. After I take those shots and my gun goes dry, I wanna get this gun back into my holster. So that means I need to get the shirt cleared out of the way, get the gun back in carefully. Make sure the shirt's completely out of the holster, make sure your finger's out of the trigger. From this point, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my magazine, insert it, and take additional shots. So let's go ahead and run that through as a drill and see what it looks like. Stand by. So, 
Is that fast? Not really, it's not super fast, it's not super tactical or anything like that, but it does get the job done and that is what we're looking to do. At that point, I can also move if I need to. If I've got a, a dead gun and a dead arm, I'm gonna to wanna to be getting out of that position from wherever the situation is that we're having to use our concealed carry firearm. I hope that helps you guys. I hope that gives you a couple of things to work on. Like I said, be sure you're dry firing this before you do it live because we wanna make sure that everything we do here is safe and we do the right process every single time.